Thanks for staying tuned to STL Live. We're back with Dan Colleen, author of Derek and the Dinosaurs. So I want to talk about, you know, when we, a couple of years back, your first book with Tilly and Clementine, the inspiration was really your nieces yeah. um, and sort of the adventures that you've kind of like had or your brothers told you about with them. So tell me about the inspiration for Derek and the Dinosaurs, besides the obvious that little kids love dinosaurs. Yeah, sure. Well, um, you know, I think most boys go through, and girls too, mm-hmm. go through dinosaur phases. Mm-hmm. And um, in particular, one, I, I guess Eddie, my most, although he's an eighth grader now, but a few years ago, he just had dinosaurs everywhere around his house. He had a big box of them, you know, like a hundred dinosaurs in this box. And um, that was just funny. And, and, you know, he knew the names of all of them, <laughs> like the technical Latin names. Of these, <laughs> like, no, that's not a brontosaur, that's brachiosaur. And blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh, I'm like, oh, okay, uh-huh. sorry. And um, so. More recently, when I did this book, I'm like, hey, can I borrow that big box of dinosaurs from you? Because I'm thinking of doing a book about dinosaurs. He's like, sure. And so I had these dinosaurs on my drawing table um, as I was working on this book. And I did kind of more cartoony, less vicious yeah, versions at, yeah. of them. Not, uh, no, no pointy teeth. I don't want to scare kids away. But um, anyway, so that he was sort of my inspiration. And now I have another nephew going through that phase where yeah. he, he roars. He's three years old. Yes. Uh, actually, he's Tilly and Clementine's little brother. Uh-huh. So, um, uh, so that's, those guys are sort of the inspiration and of, that's of this one. And inspiration. With your style of, I mean, I, now looking at all, all three of your books, I mean, you definitely have a distinct style in terms of your illustration. I mean, you've been drawing since, what, you were a kid, really? Yeah. yeah. And so is this kind of, is, it's not like you have a genre, but is this really sort of more in the cartoon illustration sure. style? So talk about that. I mean, do you do different type of artwork or illustrations, or this is primarily it? This is primarily it. Um, I uh, read lots of comic strips growing mm-hmm. up, you know, Charlie Brown, Family Circus, and then later on Calvin and Hobbes, so, you know, those, and some Mad Magazine and a little bit of New Yorker mm-hmm. stuff. And um, so those were all great. And I actually did a comic strip when I was in college. Mm. Um, and uh, so that was, that's sort of the route I've taken, whereas some people are kind of more, classically trained artists sure. and they know how to do watercolor and these great things and I, I would love to learn that but um, you know I, I just didn't so um, but it's not too late yeah but, it's never too late but those well, are, yeah and I wanted to say too when you're talking about education that you go to schools you have to do school visits so tell me a bit right. about that as it relates to Derek and the dinosaurs sure I love visiting schools um, grade schools I read to uh, kindergarten through fourth graders for this book and um, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll book a whole morning or afternoon and I'll just be at one school and I'll sometimes read to read the book several times, like four or five times, uh, to different little classrooms. Or I'll be in the library and they'll march in and out. Um, or sometimes I'll do a big assembly and get the whole school at once. And uh, during those visits, not only do I read the book, but I show them a little slideshow about when I was a kid, the kind of stuff I was drawing when I was oh, their okay. age. And they get to see what a family looked like in the 1970s. Yes. And um, and then I show them how ideas progress from notebook to final version. So they get so it doesn't just appear like this. It there's a process. Right, that they get the process. Right. That they understand that. And so can people watching this? They can if they are interested in having you come to their child's school, they can go to your website to sure. contact you. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. On my website, there's a school visits page, and I kind of outline what a typical visit is like and then people can email me or, or whatever and I, I'll be happy to schedule visits. And yeah. we were talking about today's the sort of official book release right. but you also have some dates coming up that people can come and meet you, some book sightings. Right, thank you. Um, so this Friday, December 4th, I'll actually be at the uh, Mercy Hospital St. John's oh, great. Uh, in Creve Corps. Mm-hmm. So if you're injured or if you're just in the neighborhood, <laughs> you can stop by. I'll be at the gift shop from noon till 2, signing books. And then um, I'm also going to read the book, I think, to some of the younger patients oh, who are there. Wonderful. So that'll be nice. Yeah. Sort of like Lou Gehrig or Kramer visiting the hospital. Uh, and then next we- th- this weekend, unfortunately, I'll be in Kansas City at a couple of Barnes & Nobles oh, great. signing there. But mm-hmm. the next weekend I come back, December 12th, Saturday, I'll be at the Webster Groves Bookshop. Um, from 11 to 2, and then Sunday, the 13th, I'll be at the St. Peter's Barnes & Noble out there at Mid-Rivers, mm-hmm. um, I think from 1 to 4, or noon to 4. Okay, like and that. all this information is on your website, On correct? the website and on Facebook. I have a Dan Colleen Kids Book 
Facebook page. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, go check it out. We've got the information there for you on the screen. Go to dancolleen.com. You can get all the dates for his book signings so that you can go to one of them and actually buy the book and then have it autographed by Dan. Um, you can also purchase it not just at Barnes & Noble, but Amazon and Indeed Bound. And it's out. Check it out. And don't just check out Derek and the Dinosaurs. Check out Tilly and Clementine. Tell me, Tilly and Clementine do switcheroo. And what's next? We'll have to have you back when the next one comes up. That would be Derek good. and Thank the Dinosaurs you. Part 2, right? <laughs> Thank right. you again for being here. Thank you so much. You. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not done yet. There's more STL Live coming your way. We'll be right back after this.